Hello, welcome to Demori, a little Amori fan game developed by Totally Fungo. And do I need to explain anything? It's Do plus Amori. Let's go. Oop. New game. Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. It's time for a change. Rip and tear until it is done. You know, we're a Mori. We're sick of living on our heads. Let's use the power of gun to destroy everybody. Because why not? Why not? Like, why did why did someone combine Doom plus a Mori? You know, the answer is why not? But all right. Here we go. We use the power of gun, the power of the M9 Beretta, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but, you know. Usually when you think of a pistol, you always think of the M9, I feel like. It's always like, kind of overused, you know? In almost any type of movie, I feel like, it's always the M9 Beretta. Even though I don't think, well, I'm not sure, actually. Like, I used to be in the service of the military. I don't know if it still is. I think it's been replaced, but I'm not entirely sure. So there you go. This is like Doom. As you know, in Doom, you can't really aim your gun up and down. It's kind of like, you just kind of strafe, I guess, is the idea. I've never been like a, a... I never grew up on Doom, though. You know, I kind of grew up on, like, I guess, in the era of, like, multiplayer first-person shooters and everything. I guess cover-based shooters as well, I guess, is, the, is what I played most of. I never played, like, actual, like, real Doom. So I guess, uh, I mean, the modern Doom... Who's that character? I don't know who that is. Oh, I'll just kill it. I'll just murder it. Don't worry about it. Just kill all these, like, sprouts, by the way. Also the NPCs? Who's the... Who's this? I forget this character's name, but... I mean, isn't, isn't she, like, a nice character? Oh, I'll just murder him. I'll murder him. Murder them. Um... I like the remix. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't grow up on Doom. Even though it's basically the grandfather of all first-person shooters, I feel like. Or that or Wolfenstein? Which came first, actually? I actually don't know. Wolfenstein or, like, Doom? I just know those are the, the old-style shooters, right? And there would even... People people would often often call it, like, uh, Doom clones, right? Any, anything, any, like, shooter game at the time that was similar would call, they'd be called a clone or whatever. Of course, eventually, it was uh, adopted into an actual genre, and you, now you call it an FPS, right? Apparently, back in the day, there was no vertical aiming, which makes sense. I think in the original Doom, um, technically, even though it looked 3D, everything was actually 2D. It's hard to, I don't know, hard for me to visualize, really, how that was possible. By the time, they did, they did, they did that, right? Exactly, you know, they used only 2D assets and 2D programming, I guess, in order to, uh... I think I'm low on health. I think health is like, depending on your anger, I guess. I think you can also press shift. Yeah, I can do this. It's kind of useless though, to be honest. It slows it down, but also slows you down. But what's the point? Uh, I'd rather have like a Zawirldo technique, where you just you slow everybody else down, but you don't slow yourself down, you know? Kill the boss. Kill literally the boss. As in the boss, as in the name, his name is Boss. But also, he's a boss. Anyway, collect this star. Here we go! <laughs> you know, isn't that Mario 64? Okay, welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Space boyfriend needs his planet back. Okay, I'm assuming we're going through all the levels in the Mori, all the little like uh, places we've been through into the actual like a Mori game. Also have an M16, I think. An M16 or M4, I don't know, they're very similar to me. Boop. Now we kill. We got full auto now. Fully automatic. Great. Boop -a. Yeah, but the original Doom was all like... 2D and made to look 3D, is the idea, I guess. It was kind of like the world is like moving around you, you know, rather than you moving through the world, if that makes any sense. I don't know, I don't know how it's actually programmed. 
It's crazy to think that the original Doom is just like programmed in only two dimensions, even though it looks three dimensional. That's why you can't really aim up, you know? That's the whole reason. And this game, I guess, kind of mimics that. Even though it doesn't need to be, you know, it, doesn't, it probably doesn't, yeah, as far as I know, it looks like it's just made in Unity, so I don't think it's made in the same way as the original Doom. That would be interesting. It was like a Doom mod. I guess it'd probably be a lot harder, though, to actually convert those assets from a Mori to, like, an actual Doom game. So this guy just mimics what Doom would be like instead of actually being, like, a Doom clone. Anyway. Take too much damage, I feel like. And yeah. Is there a health pickup somewhere soon? Oh, there you go. Health pickup? I might want to save it, I'm not sure. If, uh, if I need it later, I come back for it later. I'm also not sure, like, if I take too much damage, like. Oh. I'm not sure how many hits a Mori can take. Seems like he just gets angry and angry. I guess if you get too angry, he just explodes, you know? That's how it works, right? The Doom protagonist, he's just so angry. That's the whole- that's his, like, entire personality quirk, by the way. He's just angry. He's very angry. But his only weakness is that he's too angry. He becomes so angry, his veins burst. It's like a Mori. Though I do know, uh, but I mean, speaking of Doom, the whole reason why I feel like Doom had a bit of a resurgence, I feel like, is because, uh, of the game that came out, like, I think a few years ago at this point. But wasn't there, like, a bunch like, DLC and stuff, but... What was it called? It was... I actually forgot. I, you know, the, the Doom remake. I actually forgot what the game is called, to be honest. I mean, there was a few games before that as well. Isn't there, like, Doom 2 and Doom 3? I know Doom 3 is when... It had like actual like 3D aspects, I believe. It came more like a horror game. I don't know. It kind of spooked me actually. I didn't want to play it because it was actually kind of scary, <laughs> a little bit. I don't know. It, like it. I mean, it was always kind of like had this like motif of like fighting demons and all that. It's like you go into hell and all and everything. You know. I mean, I, I've always found that scary only because I always found like Christianity kind of scary. You know, the whole aspect of like devils and demons and all that. I don't know. A little bit too ultra realistic for me. I don't know, I don't know where I'm out. Oh, they, they got stuck somewhere? Uh oh. This is bad. I'm gonna have to reset if I actually, if I actually fell down over here, I get glitched through the game. Uh no, okay, that's fine. I'm up. Alright. That is bad though. I feel like I've taken too much damage. Game as far as I know it doesn't have checkpoints. Ah, uh, alright. Restart. I'm also not used to having a lot of enemies take so many hits. You know? I'm I'm so used to first person shooters. I mean especially multiplayer uh, multiplayer first person shooters. I don't know why I keep saying first person shooter like entire. I just say FPS. I don't know when I think FPS though. For some reason in my head, I think of frames per second more so than first person shooters. So that's why I'm always saying it. Also, did I need that? Oops, I don't know if I needed that. I want to go up. I have to go up. I need a hit. It's not ideal. Yeah, I'm not used to like enemies taking multiple hits, but that I mean that was the norm. I feel like for the longest time. I know, like, RPG shooters, you know, definitely are kind of like that. Oh, this is bad. I don't get too close. No! Oh, damn it. No! Run away! Oh! Get you out of the way. Can I cheat? Can I just hit you from... No, can't do that, I guess. Okay, I have to be... I just have to be... Always be moving. Always be moving. Alright. I'm almost dead, but that's fine. Alright, I killed Pluto with the power of gun. Everyone seems to always have the same attacks though. Everyone just somehow has the power to shoot balls at you. For some reason. Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. And now you will face your fears. Ah, uh, already? Um is that like actually like fears? I remember, I mean, obviously in the Mori, the original video game, you would face the. Uh, those like weird smiling enemies, you know? Also have a shotgun, by the way. I mean, classic shotgun, you know. Uh oh. Black space? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I've killed the Basil Shadows, by the way. Uh oh. They're shooting skulls at me. 
Also, this shotgun is like semi-automatic for some reason. I mean, there are semi-automatic shotguns, I think, but the model is like, or not even the model, it's like a texture really, is a uh, pump action shotgun. So that does, this doesn't make any sense at all, but that's fine. Whatever. You're supposed to like pump every time you shoot, you know, I think. Is that how it works? I think that's how it works, at least for this kind of shotgun. I don't know what you call this one. It was like a Remington. Uh, oh well. Okay, this actually kind of sucks. Can I like walk? Yeah, I can't really walk over the borders. It's actually a little bit harder because I'm kind of limited to where I can go. But I can't shoot them over. Those, oh, there's Marie and I'm dead. Ah, that's so much damage. Especially if you have to go through like narrow corridors. Help. I need health. Okay, there's health there. Let me kill some more enemies. I can take one more hit, I think. So might as well... Oh, oh, okay. Get the healing! Okay. Come on! Come on! Just keep moving in circles. Ow! I defeated my trauma with the power of shotgun. It's time to wake up. Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Stop Aubrey. Saved the flower boy. Objective. Kill. I still have a shotgun. Memo is... Or memo? No, Mewo, I think. Mewo is the name. Mewo is just still... There, waiting for something. Can we leave white space? I don't think we can. <laughs> Just like invisible walls. All right, boom. And thus, okay. I think we're sunny. You know. Ow! I already got hit. Yeah. I can't believe real humans are attacked. Also, Kel is dead. I think I murdered Kel. He's waiting for us. You know, ring that doorbell. You're annoying, Kel. I destroy you. I kill random strangers in the street. Isn't that, I mean, isn't it? Isn't this the mover people? I kill movers. I kill the, the cult members. I kill the somethings. I mean, this is just pretty psycho, to be honest. I'm just murdering a bunch of people. But then again, you know, they're evil, right? Oh, I'm dead. They're, they're, they're evil too because they're, they're obviously shooting energy balls at us. It's fair game, really. They're, you know, self defense. We live in America, right? I think. In the Mori, like a Mori setting, we live in America, so it's fine, right? In self-defense, we can use the power of gun to like defend ourselves, obviously, because they're the ones shooting at us. This will totally go over well in the court of law. Bam, 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 bam. Also, notice our shotgun. Well, only when we, when we reload, by the way. Only when we reload does our shotgun have a, a light, by the way, like a flashlight. Kill. Kill. Murder. Die. Now. Also kill you? Who are you? You're Pretty Boy or whatever? Yeah, aren't you like Pretty Boy from that comic that Umbo Cat made as well? That got like, slightly viral or whatever? At least, you know, well, I've, I've never noticed when they got viral or whatever, but... I've only noticed people talking about it, you know, and how it had like a bit of a controversy, I think, about like how it's like the relationships between the characters were abusive or something. <laughs> I'll be honest, when I read it, I didn't see that at all. It seemed to be like playing on the shonen trope, actually, you know, where a bunch of boys get in a fight or whatever, but then the main characters they end up getting uh, married or whatever is the idea. Like, it's like that like trope of like, I don't know. We I don't know what we call it, but like it's that trope where people like um, guys beat beat each other up and then they become best friends. But even then, the main characters didn't actually fight. You know, or the main characters didn't actually fight each other. Actually, 
as far as I remember, it was one character was like a pretty boy, and the other character was as it like this jo uh, jock stereotype, you know. <laughs> and at first, he like was kind of like a, a bully to him, like, like one panel really. But then afterwards, they he did not like bully the pretty boy anymore because it turns out he was like just totally gay. So <laughs> that's the, that's the story. You know, that's the comic. The twist is that they're just gay, basically. So I don't know. And the idea is that uh, the pretty boy gets bullied by other, you know, bullies. And then the bully main character saves the pretty boy, you know, and or whatever. And again, to like a fight to like save the pretty boy. And then they get uh, married at the end. And that's twist, whatever. It's supposed to be this wholesome story, I guess. It's a little cliche, but again, it's because they're gay, you know. Therefore, it adds uh, extra value to the story, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's where I'm going. I'm almost dead, by the way. Is there like a another like health item anywhere? It would think to be a health item somewhere around here. Can you eat this? Give me the fruit cart. No, just eat the fruit, all of it. No, guess not. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it! Where are these guys, by the way? I don't notice those guys with the green hoodies or whatever. I never seen them in the original Mori game, as far as I remember, anyway. I feel like there's a few OCs here, you know? Or maybe not, I'm not sure. They, possibly they could be from a Mori mods or something, I'm not sure. Like, a Mori, like other Amori fan games, maybe? Possibly, I mean, any kind of like, game that got like super gets super popular, there's always gonna be fan games of it. I mean, like this one, obviously. And this one's pretty ridiculous. Which, by the way, I don't want to mention it, but uh, the main developer, I believe, is Slam Dunk Yajunk. You know, that's the developer's name. The actual, like, lead developer of the team, Totally Fungo, I think. Uh, brought, you by, uh, brought, you, brought to you by the same people who made, I believe, a Mori multiplayer RP, you know? Which I believe is just, like... It's just like a, a, like a little multiplayer game where you run around as like characters from Amori, I guess. And the idea you're, supp you're supposed to RP, but I've only seen memes from it. You know, people just like do jokes, I guess, or whatever. Also, Mushroom Guy? I, I never seen that in the original more. I, I really do feel like there's a few OCs here. I don't know, man. Ah, here goes some fruit. Num. Delicious. Gives you very essential vitamins and minerals. Maybe. Does it give you minerals? Oh. Zinc? Potassium? You know, is potassium a mineral? I think so. Also, I hear more enemies. Okay. Die. 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 Kill them all, Sonny. Kill them all. You know, this is the alternative timeline. Well, he just becomes a, just a psycho. I don't know. It's very morbid, really. It becomes a psycho killer, just kills everybody. But don't worry about it. Again, they, they deserve it because they're shooting energy balls at us, obviously. Oh. In fact, maybe they don't actually die. Maybe they just get knocked out, you know? That's how it works, right? You know how, like, when you fight enemies in, in, the, in the sunny uh, perspective in the original Amoria game? Uh, nobody gets killed or anything. They just get knocked out. Don't worry about it. They like faint like Pokemon. I kill you too. What's her face, Kim? <laughs> kill Kim. Uh, kill yeah these these guys. Kill that guy. Or whatever. Just murder Aubrey's gang real quick, like her friends basically. Like her real friends. This uh, uh you know stuck with her while she was going through a traumatic experience somewhere about just murder her murder her friends too. I mean this guy's spoiler I don't know, I mean I'm I'm assuming if you if you're watching this, you already know about the original Mori, but anyway. Sonny, you sick twisted fuck like that. Don't say such bad swears. The only sick twisted fuck here is Candace. Candace? Oh yeah she's the candy shop owner, I think. Who's Candace? 
I think so. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember actually. Can this gun fit in your mouth? <laughs> okay. I can't believe. What? I can't believe we killed Aubrey. She's freaking dead. We did it. We stopped Aubrey and we saved the flower boy. No, actually, did we save the flower boy yet? We haven't saved the flower boy yet, actually. We must save the flower boy next. After murdering Aubrey in the church, and all the church goers are like, him. Hey, she deserved it, <laughs> you know, whatever, because no no one at the church likes her, if you remember. So when we literally go in the church, you just murder her, and everyone was like, oh, well, you know. Oh, press shift there. Yeah, shift, again, just slow motion. I don't know if there's any point. It uses your, your meter at the bottom there, but like, I, again, it doesn't seem very useful, to be honest. Anyway, we're very, we're very afraid. It's nighttime. I guess we're afraid of the dark. Creepy because uh, there's just nothing. I guess we murdered everybody. But now it's eerie because there's nobody here. Um, where do we go? I mean, we have to find. Oh, oh, there's there's a nightmare over there. What do you call it actually? What do we call it in the original game? I forget what you call them. I mean, there's some things I guess you know, like a variation of the something. Capital S something. Something, something, something. Go here, kill that thing. Kill that anomaly. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Though I guess they did have names actually, I believe. When you actually fought these little enemies in the, in the morning. They did have their little names. Yeah, I'm not sure where, we, where I need to go. Do I just need to go back? Like backwards? I'm assuming we go backwards. Uh, where was Basil's house? I actually, I mean, looking at this from this 3D perspective, it's actually kind of hard to figure that out. I'm not used to seeing the world from this view, really. Hmm. I mean, that's where we went before. Um, I'm assuming we go that way, because that's where all the enemies are. That's... Where we came from, I guess? Yeah, but that, that's where we blocked off. Hmm. I mean, there's a something there. I'm just gonna murder it real quick. It's dead. Right. I think that's our house. Also, Kel is still dead, I assume. So I guess we'll just go back this way. We feel I feel like very slow, though. Why am I so slow? Can I bunny hop? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we can bunny hop. I think that's in, that was invented in Quake. I, th I think that was after Doom. How about let me bunny hop and rocket jump? I definitely, the, the, the game that I played the most definitely was TF2, you know? I mean, I played a little bit before that, actually. I played, like, random, like, free-to-play shooter games because I can't afford, I couldn't afford to play, you know, actual real video games. So I just played the ones that were free online. <laughs> and uh, they're definitely, like, pay to win. But I didn't have any money. So often I would just fight people with, like, like, super overpowered guns and I would just lose every time but you know it's the only thing I could afford I had a computer that's all I had so I just used that same computer to play all of the free to play games really. we take damage we're afraid our motion is afraid I don't know how our damage is calculated at this point not sure uh, I'm assuming yeah that's Basil's house because it has flowers look at that look at those flowers and plants I'm assuming it's over here Hello, Basil. Are you trying to use your, like, shears again? Sonny, please! <laughs> Put that shotgun away! <laughs> You're insane! So sorry, Sonny, for everything. For Aubrey, for Marie, it was always my fault. I can't take this anymore, Sonny. Please, just don't kill me too! You psycho! You murdered everybody! Basil. Oh, by the way, I have a voice. You know, Sunny, I don't think Sunny ever spoke. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> okay, that's just a reference to Terminator, I think. I think, yeah, okay. It, Dumori. Is that it? It's just, yeah, just a really short, silly game. Amazing. The end. Wow. 
I can't believe I'm already murdered everybody. This is like a very sick game, you know? Like, I wonder if anyone complained? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I mean, pe uh, uh, people have complained about uh, video games for less, but like, I really do imagine if this was taken out of context, I mean, even with context, I still feel like it's a little twisted in the sense that you literally just go around, go around and just shoot everyone to death, but I don't know. So whatever. <laughs> so there you go. These are the credits. So these are the people. Yeah, but yeah, Slam Dunk Your Junk is the main person that uh, I assume made the game, but there's everybody else as well. There you go. Part 2 coming soon. Which is true, actually. By the, by, uh, by the way, the time recording this, there is a part 2 that came out. So I'm going to do this right after. I'm going to do the sequel right after. Is the idea. It's part of the reason why I'm playing this one as well. But this one's pretty short. But I believe the sequel is a little bit longer. As well. So there you go. That's uh, That was Doom Mori. Doom Mori? Doom Mori. Doom plus Amori. It's, it's silly. I don't know, again, why did they combine Amori with Doom? But like, I, you know, I get the answer is why not? Why not? Boom, 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 boom. Is there like a stinger? I'm assuming there's always a stinger. Bum 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 bum. Come on, where's the stinger? Hello? Or is that just gonna fade to black? That's it. Am I just stuck here? Do I click anything? No? I think it just... It just ends here. Alright. I think so. Oh, there we go. Okay. It go, okay, finally it goes back to the main And then I maybe need to press the button. Anyway, here, there you go. That that was a Demori. Um, but yeah. Uh, this will probably be its own standalone video on YouTube, though. So I'll probably just do my usual sign-off. So, uh, but yeah. Um... That was it for Doom Mori. It was definitely a very silly game. Uh, very basic. I don't know. I, was, uh, I don't know what it was to say about it. I mean, it's, I, I guess, yeah, it's, it's well made. You know, it's kind of simple in terms of actual gameplay, I, was, I feel like. But, you know, it has all the assets. It has all all the basic mechanics and everything of a Doom game. You know, the idea itself, I think, is the, is the novelty, I feel like. Like, why? But... But you know, it's just like crazy enough to work, I think. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you didn't know, I stream these games uh, live on YouTube. So, not YouTube, rather, no, I mean, you can stream live on YouTube actually, but I don't actually don't do that. Rather, I stream live on Twitch actually. So that's where I stream. Um, and uh, if, you didn't, uh, if you didn't know, you can also look for other playthroughs on my YouTube channel. I I'm, just, I'm just messing up my sign off, anyway. Um, but next is Doom Mori Eternal, so look forward to that in the next video. So there you go, thanks for watching, until next time, see you then.